Hey there gang, you're Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play Gives You Hell by All American Rejects. And I'm just going to jump into it right away. I've got my chart up on my screen here and I'm going to be referring to that. Um, so for those of you that can just watch and get this, then awesome, do that. For those of you that need more help, stick around and we'll talk about all the bits and pieces, the chords, the strumming, um, all that good stuff, okay? The the chords that you need for this tune are C, A minor, F, and G. Those are the main chords we're going to need. We'll also need for the bridge, we'll need a D minor and an E minor. But really, we won't be using them very much, okay? And I won't be playing the entire song through just because there are there's a lot of repetition. So if those of you who are really interested in knowing all the chords and exactly how it goes, um, go to yourguitarsage.com and get the ebook there. Um, and then you'll, you'll have access to looking at this chart. It will help you out. Okay? So do that. Um, and for those of you, otherwise, just listen up and we'll, um, we'll play each part. So it's going to go something like this. It's going to go, this is for the intro, the verse, and the chorus. This is all the same chord progression. Here it goes. <laughs> playing the same chords over and over again. Here we go, here are the chords. Um, for the intro, the verse, and the chorus, we have a C for two beats. And by the way, as you can see here, I'm capoed at the fourth fret. If you haven't already done that, if you don't have a capo, go get one. Um, it's going to make this song a lot easier. Okay, So, C for two beats, A minor for two beats, F for four beats. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's how long you'll hold each chord out, okay? And of course, I'm doing a funky little rhythm here that we may get a chance to talk about, but um, if not, you can just do. going to be the majority of the tune. Now, the pre-chorus is going to do something like this. Pre-chorus is going to do um, a G, an A minor, a G, and an F7. Okay? So, one measure of G, one measure of A minor, one measure of G, one measure of F7. Okay, so, here we go. <laughs> I've lost my place. So the pre-chorus is like, uh, I forget the lyrics, but... Uh, the choruses, we got the pre-chorus. So the only other thing, well, we've got two other things here. We got a bridge and we got the ending. I'm gonna go straight to the ending first because it's very similar to this chord progression that we're doing. That one. Um, okay, and it's going to go, this is when they start doing the acapella part where they're just singing, they're setting up the amplifiers and blowing away the, blowing away the couple there, the, uptight couple. Um, we're going to do a C for one measure, an F for one measure, an A minor for two beats, a G for two beats, and then back to a C. Okay? 
okay? So again, C for one measure. Here, I'll, I'll play it slowly here. It's going to go C for one measure, and F for one measure, an A minor for two beats, a G for two beats, and a C again for four beats. Again, it's going to go. Now, of course, in the video, or in the song, um, no one's actually playing, well, there is some sort of, maybe some sort of little electric guitar in, way in the background there, but the chords are assumed, and these are the assumed chords, so anytime we hear a melody, there, there are chords playing underneath it, or there are chords that would support that melody, um, and that's the chord that I've interpreted here, okay? Um, before we go on any further here, um, let me tell you about the ebook here real quick. For those of you that know, you can fast forward. But if you haven't already, go to yourguitarsage.com and download this ebook. It's really going to help with all these tunes and um, also give you access to my charts section, which allows you to look at this, the same chart that I'm looking at. Breaks it down into intro, verse, chorus, turnarounds, bridge, and all that stuff. You don't have to write the chords down, you'll have access to them um, via the website. Okay, so check that out. Um, and, it, and the ebook also explains how to play a lot of these chords that you may not know how to play. Also strumming. Okay, so the bridge is going to do something like this. It's going to do, um, it's going to go A minor for four beats, F for four beats, C, and then we have this mixed measure. Okay, and I'll go over that in a minute. But it's gonna, here, I'll just play it. It's gonna go A minor, F, C, E minor, D minor, C. Okay, so you're gonna play the E minor for two beats, D minor for one beat, C for one beat, and back to A minor for a whole measure, and F7 for a whole measure. D minor for a whole measure, G for two measures, so it's going to go something like this. down in, in those whole notes so you can understand when the changes are happening. But all the while you could be doing that kind of funky strumming that I'm doing there. So that brings us to the strumming. I'm looking at my time here and we're getting ready to run out of time. So um, let's talk about the strumming. Um, I do like a um, kind of a hybrid strum here or um, basically breaking it down to like an acoustic style. It's going to go... And then it's like a, um, it's like a down, 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 and one, or down, 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 up, down, 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 up. That would be the easiest, easiest way to do it. That is the entire song. So, and we're running out of time here. So, go to yourguitarsage.com, check out the ebook, and keep practicing. Oh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, go feed the cats and eat your greens for today. Uh huh. Do your homework. <laughs>